Hey folks, how are you? I hope you all are doing well. So Saborni this side and I have come back with another content. So it's about a service that I haven't covered earlier, which is Amazon API Gateway. Uh, coming to the uh, the specific service before going to talk about it. So earlier I have created contents about uh, Lambda functions, step functions as well. But API Gateway is something new altogether uh, in this channel. So I hope you will be liking it. Uh, before going ahead uh, to the depth of the service, uh, I'm just going to briefly discuss about what an API Gateway is so i uh, hope you can see the screen over here available uh so it's a client here on the left side as you can see and who is going to try to access different services that are available okay service a b and c and they are probably written in different languages with the help of an api gateway it provides a common interface to those services which the client is trying to access so instead of gathering the different uh each ips or endpoints of the service what you can do is you can create a are in an API gateway uh, endpoint and that endpoints would have say exam for example there are you will be creating different resources altogether and uh, you can expose different methods for those resources depending upon the backend service that uh, it's supporting and accordingly uh, the client would be utilizing one common endpoint which is the API gateway endpoint and the corresponding resources are integrated at the back end of each path here specified so as you can see uh, for the service a there is a get method that is exposed for a resource a which is integrated to service a from the api gateway and hence likewise for service b and c so before going ahead to the discussion detailed discussion here just preface about the service it's a fully managed service that helps uh, the developers to create publish maintain and monitor and even secure their apis at any scale this service even acts as a front door basically to access a wide ranges of service backend services that you're going to host all together and the real beauty about uh, the services you can as you can see how it works so for example you can create uh, some connected uh, streaming dashboards as as that is available for your organization you can have a web and mobile version or an, any iot devices or any, even private applications like vpc and on-prem servers you can have this uh, amazon api gateway service sitting in the middle between these clients on the left side and the backend services that are available so for example you may consider there are multiple services that you're trying to for your customers so at the back end say for example uh, there is a lambda function that is running in node.js application also there can be a standalone application which is running in an ec2 uh, instance that is written in java and there there is for example uh, an s3 bucket that is available at the back end which you want to expose so in that case what you can do you can create an api gateway api and I will tell you the different types of APIs that are available for common usage. You can create as per your requirement and choice and you are getting an endpoint URL and you are getting lots of features which I will be demonstrating by creating one. This service not only provides the backend integrations that are available at, as you can see on the screen but also there are cache behaviors and uh, cache mechanisms that are available as well as metrics and monitoring you can also use that with the help of cloudwatch service okay coming to the benefits uh, here you can give a read like AP efficient api development uh, high scaling performance cost savings etc etc and restful api options flexibility and security controls easy monitoring okay so in order to get started with uh, there are different types of apis that are available primarily if you focus here one is a restful apis okay and the other one is websocket apis so websockets are generally for real-time two-way communication and uh, mm, it's basically useful for uh, any chat applications and also for uh, streaming dashboards etc but for restful apis you are getting the flavor of two types of apis one is an http api another one is a rest api uh, we can definitely talk about these two why uh, the, there is a requirement of these two types of apis that are available and we'll, we're going to talk about them and uh, and there is another form of that there, there's another uh, api that is also available which is a rest api but it's a private rest api which uh, the endpoint of that those apis can only be accessible accessible over private networks like vpcs that you consider okay so I would be concluding the session right now because I don't want you all of you to get overwhelmed with lots of information. So I would be back soon with a hands on tutorial where I will be creating a REST API and you will be able to understand more on how the service works. Okay, that's all folks. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.